Uh, all right, Jen. Lynn Bella Orchard is one of our favorite places, especially in the fall. Do this. I have a question for you, Mike, yes. and Alex, and whoever else is paying attention. Uh -huh. See this gorgeous piece of work? Yes. Was it carved with this thing that usually is for drywall, or this kit that doesn't look so promising, but they swear by it? I'll tell mm. you which one after the break. This thing, or this thing, or that thing? Okay. Well, let's go to Delco, what do you say? Uh, how is this pumpkin carved? With what tool? With, yeah, Jen. What do you, what's your guess, Mike? Do you think it's with the uh, drywall thingery or the this thing? I think it's the cute little thingery you wouldn't be asking. I agree. It is with that. I was surprised. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So this thing really works. It really works. Okay, and you said the number one mistake all of us are making. By the way, Sue, thanks for the rain. Um, I know you're a Sue super fan, so you I am a Sue I, super fan. Um, you know that, like, the number one thing we're doing wrong is... Not using a sharp enough tool. Okay, so you say I can go in and use this... Th look at her. This is like a drywall cutter, right? It's a drywall knife, yes. It's, and then you like this, why? Because it's skinny? Well, because it's skinny, because it's got a nice serrated edge, and even the ones, the tools that you'll see in the um, kits yep. all have nice serrated edges. And you want a good serrated edge when you're cutting through a pumpkin. Yeah, because you just want to get through it. So we talked about this. What about the timing, okay? What if I want to do it? You said the best time. At my house, we do it on Halloween, like in the afternoon, just That's to kill time. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, Halloween day is a nice time to do it. It's a nice way to celebrate the, you know, the festivities of the day. But yes. I have these crazy squirrels that live in my neighborhood. So I wake up the next morning, and this gorgeous pumpkin is usually obliterated. You have a trick there for that too. There is something you can use for that. There are several products out there. We sell one here. Um, it's called a, a deer repellent, deer and rabbit repellent. And that works. And yeah, it's it's a capsaicin product. It's hot pepper oil. So, so am I it spraying it will, on the pumpkin? Yes, you'll spray it on the pumpkin, and it deters them from eating it. Okay, and we obviously we're gonna carve out the stuff first. You're going to clean out the guts. Clean out the you guts. You want to make a nice hole on the top, and you always want to put a little notch on it because that way it makes it so much easier to put your lid back oh! on. There's nothing worse than trying to figure out where your lid goes. Okay, I have to say, I've been here 42,000 times. That's uh -huh. the first time you've ever mentioned that. I'm sorry. Why well, you got to keep the good stuff from me? And <laughs> got to keep it fresh. I noticed that you guys don't draw on the pumpkins. I do sometimes. You do sometimes? Yeah. Sure. Okay, because I, what I do is I usually draw and then color outside the lines a little bit. Yes. That's fine. Okay. Absolutely. And then we do, uh, there's a lot of these triangle eyes. I yes. mean, we shouldn't try and reinvent the wheel, I'm assuming. No. No. Well, you can do triangle eyes or you can go like big and do like all kinds of different things. Be creative. And there's also kits. So like you can buy um different um patterns. Patterns. Oh, like Thank a you. pattern. Yes. So is this something a regular human can do? This Oh, yes. <laughs> What that is, is it's carved. Those are actually done by wood, wood carvers. We're having a big exhibition this weekend yeah, so we at Lynn Villa. This. You can do it. You can do anything, Jen. Thank you. Um, uh, you're just going to scrape it off till it's like just the bottom of the inside of the pumpkin, where the pumpkin meat is. You don't go all the way through on I just want to be clear. She thinks I can do that, and I just figured out that you're supposed to have a notch in the lid. Uh, so let's baby step. It's all experience. Um, I don't know if people have seen the pictures, Mike and Alex, of what happened here just yesterday. No. Like 20,000 people. It was your biggest oh, ever. It was, it was huge. I'll show wow. you at 9 o'clock. They literally had people waiting for 45 minutes just to get in the place. Oh, my gosh. Forget about trying to pick out your pumpkin. Well, Good. there was no Eagles game. No Eagles game. game. Great yep. weather. No. Yes, yep. it was. It was lovely. Yep. Plus, it's a magical place. We love it. We it love to magical. see the crowds. So good. Look at the crowd. Packed. Oh, mama. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Out of their gourds, or they're picking out gourds, something. Uh, all right, we're going to make this peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich <clears throat> coming up here in just a couple minutes. I put this on my Instagram. Not one person says they think this will taste good. But then there are people who say, try it. I've been eating it my whole life. And they like it. Delicious. So it's either one extreme or the other. Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen here.